10,000 subscribers. Wow, I don't know what to say. In fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, I guess I'll just explain it like this because that isn't gonna work. So basically, you just choose your difficulty over here and then press the start button. Now you can put your pipes in the playfield. Just shoot an arrow on top of the pressure plates or just stand on them yourself. And you'll see that the pipe you saw over there now moved over here. You can see there's a timer on the right and when it hits zero or when you flip this lever, the lava will start flowing. And now it's up to you to connect the pipes to make the lava flow all the way over there. When you win, you'll see fireworks, yay! But when you can deliver the lava to the other pipe in time, well, bad stuff happens. To start over, here's a reset button. Oh, and there are some special pipes. When the lava flows on this one, for example, the time will freeze for a few seconds. And when the lava flows on this one, well, just don't make that happen because that's the TNT pipe. Is this a subscriber special, you ask? Well, yes, no, yes, well, I don't know. You see, I don't really like subscriber specials because you're kind of forced to make a video. But I had this map laying around for about three years anyway, so who cares? There are a lot of command blocks and most of them are just doing simple stuff like teleporting you. So I'll only explain the important parts. All the pressure plates have two command blocks underneath. This command block will clone these blocks on top of the pressure plate and this command block will place a redstone block right over here and that will set off this chain of command blocks and that chain will move all these blocks a bit to the right and a new pipe will be randomly generated that's simply cloned from this part over here and this will be constantly changed into another pipe as you can see that's done by these command blocks over here each command block clones the pipe to over there and these pressure plates are randomly pressed by this spawner. This spawner is spawning XP orbs on top of the pressure plates. Now, the reason why the lava is able to destroy the snow is because this is actually not a snow block, but just a whole bunch of snow layers stacked. But hold on, lava isn't able to flow that far. So here's a fast clock and that replaces all the lava with lava source blocks. That way you have the kind of fluids we had in Minecraft Alpha. And that's all the important stuff really. Oh yeah, you might want to see this. These are a ton of end gates simply testing if there's a lava block above red or yellow stained clay in order to make the special pipes work. If you want to play this game, there's a download link in the description of course. Uh, make sure you're using the latest snapshot.